Hello YouTube, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be talking about cropping tool. As you know, cropping a photo involves cutting out unwanted part of an image to improve the overall composition or removing distraction as well as emphasizing the viewer's attention to the main subject of the image or adjusting the aspect ratio for different purposes like, po like posting on social media or printing. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, to select your crop tool, you can go over to this icon which is for selecting crop tool or you can use C on your keyboard which is the shortcut key for selecting crop tool in Photoshop and then you can go over after selecting your crop tool and then you crop your image and then you can also use X to swap aspect ratio so you can move from maybe 4x5 aspect ratio and then hit X to 5x4 aspect ratio ratio and then also you can hold your add key and then crop your image from the center as you can see the crop tool is moving from the center and then also another important shortcut is you can press H and hide the cropped area of your image you can press H to hide you can also press H to reveal and then another important shortcut which is P so what this does is if you are not holding down your P, whenever you click, you will be moving around your image. As you can see, it's the image that is moving, but your cropping tool stayed in one place, stayed in the center. When, whenever you hold down your P, you are now going to be moving your cropping tool and then your image stayed in one place. So that's it for the shortcut of P. So let's undo. So uh, moving to our crop tool, before we crop, this is the default aspect ratio, but we are having some presets here, like one by one, four by five, and then five by seven. But for us photographers, because this image are mostly going to social media and social media like Instagram made it four by five by default when you are trying to post your image on uh, Instagram. So always use four by five, which is the default aspect ratio for social media and then you move around and then you crop your image but before you crop you need to understand some options here above notice we are having this plum so if you click on it you can use it to straighten your image so what you need to do is just find a straight line and drag and drag and drag it along the straight line so let's see for example like this pillar we are having a straight line here so we can click from one point to another so if we let go notice how the image automatically adjusts and straighten the image based on this straight line and then another option which we are having here is your grid option so you can switch to uh, other options of grids as you can see so for me i mostly use uh, leave it on rule of thoughts as you can see so the next option is you are deleting crop pixel whenever you are cropping and you leave this place ticked so if you proceed and crop your image what will happen is the cropped area will be deleted and you can no longer have access to them so what i prefer is to uncheck the delete uh, delete crop pixel so that whenever i keep on editing my image and i later realize i need to adjust the cropping i can still have my crop pic uh, pixel area and then and uh, and then i adjust my cropping option so now let's leave the delete crop pixel ticked so if we click and then we hit undone notice if you go back to our crop tool we are not having the cropped area they are all deleted so let's do control z let's cancel and do control z well if you crop let's say for example and then we unchecked the delete crop pixel so whenever we proceed and crop our image and then if we come back we can still find our cropped areas and then we adjust our cropping and here's a tip let's say for example you want to crop this image and then you select or you press your c for shortcut of cropping and then you want the entire to be part of your cropping and then you want to also add some space below her and then you unfortunately find out 
but on your left and right side of the image there is negative space so you can either do content aware by selecting my key tool select one area and make sure you are selecting add above here and then you select the other area and then you hold on your shift and then you hit on backspace and then you make sure you are on content aware and then you hit on ok but the issue here is the more texture on the background the more complex the texture is on the background the harder it gets for content aware to fill the area perfectly for you because if there is a lot of pattern the areas will look somehow people will notice there is something wrong around this area let's say for example you see here is a man riding a bicycle but as you can see it's not perfect look at the tree and then for the other side is something you can manage so it's always better for you to do content aware on background that is not having a lot of texture like a plain backdrop in a studio and if i want to follow the other way around or i want to uh, use my second alternative i can just hold uh go to my rectangular my key tool here and then i select the area where i want to stretch now i am not trying to fill i'm not selecting the negative space i'm selecting the area where i want to stretch and fill the negative space so for this i will select this particular area like this and then i press my i hold my control o command and then i press t to transform but before i drag and fill i will have to hold on my shift and then i click and then i drag and fill this area and then i hit enter as you can see control d to the select but here too don't stretch too much because the more you stretch the more you stretch the more people will realize that there is something wrong with the image and then you go back to the other side select the area you want to stretch press command or control t to transform and then you hold your shift and then you drag and fill the other side you hit your enter you press your control or command d to the select and then here you have your image filled so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share and leave a thumbs up as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel see you on the next one